Hey everybody, it's time again to answer questions for me. Each month Pussy Willow and Bromeliad members get to ask one question. Sometimes they opt out, so I field questions from the comments section. So be sure to leave a question in the comments, and maybe I'll answer it in a future video. Beverly asks, Little Eric, did Blossom put a death date on Tig's headstone? We know you know that date. That's a baseless accusation. Tig doesn't even have a headstone. We have one for Jax and Yin, because they're in kitty heaven. Yin wandered off, but let's face it, it's been weeks, and unless he knew some sort of cat martial arts, he's in the belly of several coyotes. Yin is no more, and Tig is most definitely alive with his new owners that you'll never see, ever. Old Timer Garden asks, Eric, why haven't you and Kepper Van Kevin acknowledged Felix's latest bad health news to help him with his GoFundMe? Well, I guess now is the best time to tell you my fellow YouTube friends are meaningless to me. I have the bigger channel. If anything, they use me to get views, and I show up every now and then to help them promote their channels, and of course, to make content for myself. Three clowns eating on camera is better than one, right? We're all one happy big family of YouTubers? No, of course not. We're all in it for number one. By our own nature, we are selfish. You know the parable about the scorpion and the frog? The scorpion wants to cross the river, and the frog agrees to swim with it on its back. The scorpion promises not to sting the frog because then they both will die. So the frog goes along with it. But halfway across, the scorpion stings the frog. The frog is like, why the hell did you sting me? Now we're both going to die. The scorpion is like, sorry, that's my nature. There is no character improvement for us. We have matured into what we are. Just like the scorpion, we are non-social solitary animals that interact only at birth, during courtship, and for cannibalism. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Gobsmacked asks, Hey, little Eric, I noticed that you fear the rain. Are you afraid of drowning in a puddle? Great. Because I'm short, right? I keep repeating myself, I can't help being born short! Do you think I like being a joke around other people? Especially women? They're like, you never get this! You never get this! Well, I got a woman now! And I can tell you that I definitely get it! And it's... Okay. And we have time for one bonus question. Beverly Steer asks, Little Eric, are all your Harley shirts in the wash? There has to be a year's worth, but that suit is dapper. Well, thank you. This is actually what a man who makes 90k a year wears. Those other clothes are just for the camera. This is really the biggest scam on YouTube right now. I've invested in crypto, the Mickey market. I'm actually worth millions. One day, when I think I've made enough money, I'm going to bulldoze all that shit, sell it and buy a mansion, and retire on cat lady money. you damn right! This is the outfit I'm going to wear when I sue you bastards for defamation! That's right! I'm going to hire a lawyer and I'm going to sue each and every one of you! Right now, I'm just biding my time. Then, when you least expect it, BAM! Okay, that wraps up this installment of Ask Little Eric. Be sure to leave your questions in the comments. Bye, guys.